Guys, Ricada, Ricada, Ricada. This is Nick crying about Kiwi Farms again. Oh, so sure. before we get into the stand-up arc, we're doing Ricada versus Kiwi Farms. It's so funny. Part two. Mm. And we're going to go over Josh battling Ricada on his show last oh, night. Josh Moon, yes. We're stealing. Now, somebody yesterday, I wasn't going to do this yesterday, but somebody yesterday was like, I bet you they're going to steal Josh's show. Mm. And I'm like, you know what? That's a really good idea. Yeah. I should steal Josh's show. Now, I did actually, I was too lazy to steal Josh's show for myself. Alyssa Clips stole Alyssa Josh's Clips. show. And then I stole it from Alyssa Clips. So then you're going to get like... This is a steal of a steal of a steal. It's just total robbery. Yeah, this is a fucking... It's just a, a full-on grift. Oh, buddy, for one sub, giving us one away. Thank you, Bubble Bobby. We are oh, one buddy. sub Mad away love. from the goal you guys are really for the cool cheerful buddy. bubble Everyone. blow with Barnacle Boy and, and Mermaid Man Mermaid there. Man. Here we go, guys. I messaged Null the other day. I said, I know you're watching me cover your lawsuit. Text me, you faggot. Let's Wait, is this, a, is this the same thing? Like He's begging Josh to text him. May I say one thing? Yes. On the show the other night, we talked about him two shows ago. I, we made fun of him for texting Josh in the shower. Remember? Yeah. On his stand-up set, which I saw last night, he fucking goes, hey, guys, in the, in the audience, no laughs, no joke. He goes, you guys text in the shower, right? I'm like, did Nick watch our clip? And then cope to a live audience. And guess uh, what happened? I think he did. No one responded. Everyone's just like, like, right, guys? It might have to be. Now, I have the full stand-up special. Bobby Babber. We hit the song. goal! We hit the goal! What are you saying? I have the full stand-up of Ricada, but I don't know. Ricada is going to try and sue nah. us if we Look, play it. We have it. the clips we that have people some filmed clips. on in the audience. They're on YouTube. They're, they're everywhere. Like, fucking everyone's throwing it. Is he going to sue everyone? Josh Moon showed it. Are you going to sue us, Josh Moon? He's going to sue on the YouTube? whole world. Shut the fuck up. This is like Maddox tier bullshit, isn't it? It really this is. This is like, Mad like, like, he's becoming pure Maddox. We're going to be very transformative. You could suck my balls. All right. Here we go. Uh, you want to watch it now? Yeah. Okay. Let's figure this and shit thanks everyone for the support we love you all Happy right Halloween. after this we'll do the cheerful bubble yeah bubble. yeah we'll do this one first out and get over it it's dumb fighting all the time so he didn't just to be clear he did not he saw my message but he did not respond Baby Josh. <laughs> mind you he has to eat while he's live streaming like that is that it's mac and cheese disgusting. he's like eating mac he and drunken just mac and cheese be clear he did not he saw my message but he did not respond Lasagna? What is that? It's like, I don't. I, I just don't like that. This is everyday Saturday tier fucking food. Yeah, it's really retarded. But like, Josh has to respond to Ricada's bullshit, please. Like, fuck you, buddy. Please. I'm returning all in the Kiwi Farms tomorrow. We'll be talking about how horrible I am for making a rape joke. Rape joke. They're so funny, guys. What, like, you what have... a seethe. Why does he care what the Kiwi Farm says? Yeah. Like it's it, it's they tr they make fun of people. That's you understand? Thing. Like most of them on there, like a lot of them are just trolls, right? Like or it's, or they just like want to fuck around and like and have fun. Have Some fun. of them think you're a huge piece of shit. I mean, the, the, the real do, motivation though. for their posts is to get you to do this. Do this, it's you working. stupid cunt. The guy reads his thread every day, and then like, okay, if you really gotta read it, go read it, brother. But don't talk about it. Yeah. And, and certainly don't cry about it. Like, that you're fucking, oh my god, they're making fun of me for a rape joke. No. How, how funny is it, though, that Josh is leaving him on red? Yeah. yeah. The blue check Josh mark. Josh just check leaves mark. you on red. Oh, the blue check mark? Yeah, I actually find that funny. Never. You will never find a bigger white knight for low women, low children, and low minorities than the Kiwi Farms. What the fuck is wrong with Ricada? Yeah. Like, women, children, minorities. Like, you know, Drexel is black, you know, and he fucks your wife. Yeah. Aren't you white knighting for him fucking your wife and fucking underage children? Yeah. Isn't that what you're about, Ricada? 
You know, and apparently we shouldn't ever defend fucking children from Diddler Docs. They should just be allowed to be molested by Vito and Diddler Docs. And, uh, you know, women uh, apparently are Ricada's slaves and should be property and killed by him or something. Like, is Ricada okay? No. He's obviously not okay. No, he's actually having a tough time, bro. My God. Imagine the danger that they're all in. Yeah. Yeah, my wife and kids are in constant danger from my noodle arms and no shoulders. I definitely beat them with... What a self out Like, oh my god. Mind you, like, he's actually trying to say that he's weaker than, like, his, his children. children. And weaker <laughs> than his wife. Regardless of your fucking noodle arms and lack of shoulders, you're son, a adult you're male. You're still an adult man <laughs> who's going to be able to overpower and beat your wife. Holy shit. He what a retarded me. thing to say. Too weak to beat my kids. Okay, bud. Yeah, user. That's fucking. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Kiwi Farms is wrong. They're just the Karen Farms these days. The Karen the Farms. The Karen Farms. Burning down, down the farms. farms at the Karen Farms. <sighs> it's the Karen Farms when they disagree or making fun of you. It's a based freedom of speech website when they make fun Wait, of Maddox or that? Mars Girl or... Fuck it. He is... Uh, I tried to... He actually is becoming Ethan Ralph. Yeah. Circa 2020. Wow. It's the Karen farm. Oh, there's people on it that are concerned trolling. Eating on stream. No. no. Look, eating on stream, drinking booze, destroying his reputation, and now saying Karen farm. He may as well just go full board and call it broke dick farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Josh's yeah. penis doesn't work. He called Josh a pedophile on the last show. Yeah. You know. He's not there yet, to be honest. No, no, no. I'm thinking he's becoming... It's He's not like there. He's transformation. He's not, like, this is like, um, you know what this is? This is Ralph after the picture of his gun came out in Knoxville. Yes! He's still, like, riding high. It's a little bit lower than the ultimate peak, you know, when, before the heel stream and all that. But, you know, he's, he's like, on this trajectory where he's starting to spiral yeah. and alienate everybody around him. That's, that's where he's at in the arc of Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Pretty little liars to go over, dude. Basically, for Rakeda, the baldo and the bottle up his ass was the gun thing. Yeah. Like, hedonism, too, is like the trash burger. <laughs> Which one's this now? What do you think this is? I don't know what this is now. Oh! This is when he spoke to Josh Moon, when Ralph was to Josh Moon on Dick Masterson's, and said, he said about the sacrificing to, to the corn. Yeah. This and just... now we're, we're just almost about to get the sex tape. <laughs> Imagine Ricada just drops a sex tape with his wife to own us. Of his wife being fucked by Drex? Yeah. Pretty ugly little liars. What was the other one? See, but Zoomer Dylan, we already have had Nick's pill stream. We already got that. Yeah. Like him fucking in the hot tub with one eye malfunctioning. <laughs> fucked up. Uh, reset era. They're all the fucking same. They're all they're all the same. Everything's they're so concerned and worried about everybody. Alright. But <laughs> the funniest part of all of them. Listen. Nick. I don't want to tell you how to do your show, but I, I had a, a beef uh, you know, like one of these little cheese things. A little munch, right? While you were talking. Yeah. yeah. When you're presenting and the whole time you're going <laughs> Listen. It's gross. The whole time. Just realizing how completely ineffectual they are. No, they're, it's working, man, because you're spiraling. They want to have an impact on the real world. No, they don't, though. But here, let me let me give minor advice to the, to the farms and the forums. Like they're like a single individual. <laughs> Hive mind. It's a hive mind collective. It's There's the Rick and so Marty, much, remember? and I said this before. There's so much disagreement on the Kiwi farms. These motherfuckers argue to the point where they dox each other. 
and swat each other. Like, but yeah, it's all a hive mind that's against you, and they've all aligned you to know, concern troll. If you want. But it is kind of bad when 95% of them are all green. You know what? You make a point there <laughs> about Nick. You somehow convince the world that someone is bad. If you want to convince the world that someone is bad, does anyone maybe... have to convince that you're like falling but from, from, from the, grace? The thing is, like, who are they convincing? Other Kiwi Farms users? Who gives a who gives a, f- a shit? Who gives a fuck? Like, who are they like convincing? Like, is he losing everything in life? Like, fuck, his his wife left him because she read his thread. Uh, his children disowned him and, and moved out at the age of six. Like, you know, like, uh, what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah. Did he lose his law license? Like, was it revoked? No. Did he People lose his YouTube you. channel because you know they reported is? him? Ego. Yeah, I mean, he it's just needs, all about he needs everybody to kiss his ass yeah. constantly. You and I get it. Like, I, I'd love it if everybody kissed my ass, too. I've already, like, accepted But, you know, it's not <laughs> it's not realistic. It's not. Like, yeah. that everybody on Kiwi Farms is going to suck your car. There was this even point with me and some other people, too, where you got to, like, lose the ego. Because, or else you'd, like, snap at every little, like, negative thing, right? Just move on with your life, Nick. Cool. And in one post, you say the bad, evil things that you have fantasized that they have done. And the next post, it, it contains 8,000 instances of the word nigger. Wait, what? Contains 8,000 instances of the word nigger. How are we canceled? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Can we say it? No one. <laughs> on earth will take you seriously. I don't know how to tell you this. That's just how it goes. So cheers to you guys. You have the eternal inward pass. You are like Miles Morales. Um, only you are less of Spider-Man than even him. Oh, wow. Pandering to comic state fucking people. <sighs> Good night to the locals. Good night to the Kiwi Farms, Karen Farms, whatever you are. And, uh, good Man, night, it's really living rent Josh free. Lee. Take a nap, buddy. Go just to sleep. Stop, just stop talking about stop, it. Stop, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, it just makes them do it more. Like, you really think by calling them Karen Farms, it's suddenly going to 180 and they're all going to worship you? Oh, you're right. Sorry, Rakeda. We were acting like retarded Karens. Let's all worship the Baldo now. Here, here's proof. This is proof. This video that his seven thousand eight hundred viewers on Rumble is bullshit. If there's seven thousand people who watch you and love you, you don't give a fuck what a forum says about well, you, man. When you have like this guy has millions of dollars. And he's like a mo- he's like a professional. He has an education. He has children. He has a wife. But some guy, anonymous poster number seven three six, yeah, or Baldo fucking gate dude, is gonna fucking cause him to have a meltdown and drink himself to death because Baldo gate number nine seven three said that he was a faggot on Kiwi Farms. <laughs> Well, fuck, I guess my millions of dollars, my children, my wife, my successful YouTube show. Fuck all of that. Let me just cry about the Karen Farms for fucking hours on end. <laughs> Is this one, uh, yeah, there's still a little bit. Left Let's uh, finish this one off. The love of my life. I will go to sleep dreaming about your soft eyes. And softer fingers. Peace. Peace. All right. Well, let's see what Josh had to say about Ricada. It's from Mad at the Internet. Yes. Right here, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, that's the so Dick yeah, and Vito yeah, no segment, worries. which we'll get into next. I but, uh...
Rikeda followed a black prostitute from his area on Instagram. So, wait, this what? is where we're at now. <laughs> wait, what? Rikeda has fallen so low. <laughs> no! And he's so degenerate. What the fuck? He's following black prostitutes on Instagram. From his area? Yes. What the fuck? Holy shit! Uh, and it's kind of weird with the, the the Nick shit because we he knows that we follow his Instagram, so a lot of I think that sometimes he just follows like random like black people drug dealers on Instagram to like f make people like gossip about it. Or is he just drunk and doesn't know that he's doing it? But after he followed this black whore on Instagram, which was when people. And really started cracking and shit about him. He had to immediately call off his stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's really living rent free in his mind. What is going on? What is going on? Uh, and like the same day, and the first thing that anyone has any like word that he's canceling his stream is like like three a.m. his time. So at 3 a.m., an emergency came up, and he was no longer able to do his stream, and that was coincidentally the same night that uh, it's supposed. To that was crazy. Some yeah. of the Kiwi Farms that he's following a black whore on on Instagram. Um, he also had one of his lowest earning streams ever. Whoa. No. But you have eight thousand watching. There's eight thousand watching. Boy, how, what did he made? Like at least five grand. At least five grand. Yeah. And I want to say that was the sh the stream where. So uh, oh, it's the one where he was. I don't know if it was the one where. No, it wasn't that one. It was the one where he is like defending uh, the the people. Like now, there's been like two different people who have visited the headstone, and I I, I still don't even know who exactly this person is. Is the headstone is. Uh, this is apparently a really big deal. I said it was that it was um, Eric July's grandfather, which is where the name Holy Isom shit, comes from. We got from. a bunch of super chats coming. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> we got Andrew Tate for five. Did Rakeda get his law degree at the same online school where Ralph got his poli sci degree? Did Ralph even graduate? I don't think no, he did. No. We got anonymous for ten. Then Daddy Jim will make Nick cry like Ralph Lamau. Well, like Rakeda's like like. Fucking going off about how Jim is gonna side with him and he's like Ooh, is that, uh, he's like is that? yeah he's like tweeting out that Jim will side with him and that Jim like it's just Jim I'm gonna tell you right now I, I'm assuming he's watching keeping up with the fucking you know he is like Rakeda it's over like he knows like Jim knows like Jim's not yeah. stupid he knows like uh, come on. But we got also here Dead Pop for $20. Wow! 8K word count for N bombs referenced in Matthew Harris Manifesto. He smoked out. It's over. What did he mean by this? Is that the new shooter? Oh. I don't know. Reversing clap. That's sad. And now people are taking guided tours to this gravestone in the middle of Texas. So that they can um, either piss on or pretend to piss on or otherwise pose and try to intimidate or aggravate Eric July in the process. The Casino Tolerator is gifted eight subs. Let's go. That puts us 15 away. Doing. And uh, great grandfather. Okay, cool. Um, and it was in that, that uh, video where he's defending people doing this that he earned $69 after... Um, for the entire stream. Wait, sixty-nine dollars. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what? What? Wait, That's how? like below Ralph poverty. That's cog below cog. Co cog destroys. Rakeda's making sixty-nine dollars. Sixty-nine dollars. DSP is making more. More. Do you remember Ashton? There was a time where he was so big that he wouldn't read a single super chat under 20? Well, re yeah. Remember, he's, he's spiraling because of this, right? His donos have fallen off. His viewership's fucking flat. It's dead. When he's making $69 on a show, no wonder he's seething at Kiwi Farms. Oh, my God, that's bad. Is, is, is this right? Hang on. That, that uh, video where he's defending people doing this. 
that he earned $69 after, um, for the entire stream. His streams are multiple hours long. Yeah. So his, his streams on uh, YouTube are an hour and a half. He finishes on Rumble. The total stream time is about four hours. 69 bucks in four hours for Rakeda? With 7,800 watching? It's just not real, it's is not it? It's not real! So... What?! Uh, I guess people in his audience are not responding well to him. No! Being a weird hypocrite. Sneeko is this auto. What's up, Sneeko? For him. Real <laughs> Who doesn't care? The real he's got Sneeko. Yep. An up and up, upcoming uh, new audience he's going to build by stand-up comedy. <laughs> he was this in... fat dude is so fucking... Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, Sneeko. I appreciate Let's that, go. buddy. Tennessee, I want to say. Didn't he have 375k watching for the Rittenhouse trial? I think he went up to like a hundred. It was over a hundred thousand. But plus the Rumble was probably 200k. I mean, if you could call that real numbers. But yeah, about 150k. Um, with Riley, and here is a clip from Riley, who was Riley is apparently his stage manager. He does all the lighting and audio. <laughs> Imagine hiring Riley, Riley to do for anything. anything. Oh my, oh god. my god, Rakeda's lost his mind. I got a cringe video with Riley and Rakeda, by the way. Did you see it at the bar? I, you I, saw it, right? I haven't actually watched it yet. No? Okay. No. It's bad, dude. Yeah, when it's short, but it's bad. Shit for him. Um, which is why it sounds like shit. But this is his stand-up audio. This is Nick Rakeda transitioning into his new career, because I guess YouTube streaming is not working out anymore. He wants to be a stand-up comedic. Oh, 45 boy. seconds uh, teaser clip in case you want to go see the Nick Rakeda live. I'm imposing on you. I understand. What? You're, you're cerebral. <laughs> TCF is the only place where black people have showed up less to pay their debts than their own families. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, but will you let me finish my racist joke? Right? It's really my, like I'm trying to hide my own racism by blaming you people. Because look at you. Oh my God, it's like Whoa, a fucking, man, uh, he looks fucking he terrible, by the way. His legs are like fucking chicken leg. Just so scrawny, and look at the fucking bulge in his pants. I think he has the baldo on right now. Did he stuff his pants? Does he have a false cock on? <laughs> There's no way he stuffed his pants. He stuffed his pants. He stuffed his pants. He stuffed his fucking pants, bro. What the fuck is that? <laughs> He's got a cod piece on. He's wearing That's a not his cock. That's a strap There's on. There's no way. Oh my god. He's wearing the baldo <laughs> on stage. Blanco, blanc, white. Who white? Uh, <laughs> Wigger. Is it his oh, chastity belt? <laughs> Apparently there's 30 minutes of this that's coming out. He's uh, mastering it now for mass distribution. He's doing so Locktober. Do like to see the <laughs> His wife, she's like, you need to make at least $100 on stream before I unlock your cage. That's why he's so angry. He can't even make $100 on stream for his wife to unlock his penis from the chastity oh, cage. Oh, no. Locked over, way, bros. So, no. So, uh, I watched uh, a few clips, right, of the stand-up. That guy that was talking to him, I'm like, is this it, like his... It, it felt like you used to watch uh, Dave Letterman. Yeah. It felt like Paul Schaefer. <laughs> like, it felt like, like, why is this guy... And he oh, interrupted man. all of his jokes. All of his jokes. Uh, he, this guy would be like, oh yeah, what about this? And Nick's just like, fucking dude. A 30 minute long set of Nick Riccata, uh cracking racist jokes in front of an all white audience in one of the whitest areas of Tennessee, I've been told. It, it, the, the, the jokes were very racist. Base for Kata. But they, they were racist, but they weren't even funny. Like, no That's one's the laughing. problem. Like, if they were not, funny racist jokes. It's not very good. It was like, uh, at a bowling alley. Yeah, a Holocaust isn't real joke. Did you see that? I did not. Okay, the his joke was that. Okay, I, I'll try to uh, say it like Rakeda, Okay, so he's like, oh fucking, talk about the Holocaust for like for like five minutes. It's a four minute setup. Okay, 
and no one's laughing. And he's like, do you know there are people online that say the Holocaust isn't real? And he's like four minutes discussing this with no one laughing. Are you ready for the punchline? Right. He goes, well, I don't think it was six million. And everyone's just like, Phew. and he goes, because they add inflation. No, you're kidding. I swear. I swear that was the punchline. And four people were like, <laughs> oh, man. Thank God have mercy. <laughs> and it was a four. Thank God have acid. fucking mercy. Four man. and a half minutes of setup for that line. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ali, nonetheless, not to be confused with the uh, the Killstream International, but just a different bowling alley in Tennessee. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite for Josh Moon. That line was funnier than all of Nick's set. It really was. Uh, You can, you can, and will get to see that uh, if you choose not, if you choose to. Produced by Riley, um, Dick Masterson's friend, former producer, a man who is a pimp who calls himself a pimp for a retarded woman that he sells on the internet for for money. Uh, So that's what Nick's been up to. And then finally, the Patrick Tomlinson segment. Uh, Tomlinson says on uh, on Twitter, "Little, tiny, insignificant baby child. No, it is you who wears the baldo. The rest is pure fantasy, child. Enjoy prison." Actually, never mind. Let's Rakita Rik- again. <laughs> Rakita is said, "I'm a narcissist. Yes, the rest of it is merely fantasy, my girl." This guy's not okay. No. We need to get this guy some help. Like, where's the intervention? Who's going to fucking, like, get this guy out of here? All right. It's time for the cheerful bubble blow. And by the way, Ashton, I'm going to say this. Here's my thoughts on the, um, on the, sorry, I have to change my head, uh, on the showing his stand-up. It's not worth it. No, it's not. It's, it's shit. It, he's going to try and sue or cause problems. It's so bad. I just, from the and clip un- I just saw, it's, like, fucking brutal. And it's not even, like, funny to make fun of. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even, like, oh, it'd be funny to watch and make fun of. It'd just be like us going. It's like us watching Brendan Shaw. Why? Yeah. Why Why even put the audience through that? And, you know, here we fucking go, guys. We have Josh Moon on a... On Dick and Vita. On a W streak here on Kino Casino. The Josh Moon Ws are piling They're up. Piling it's up, strange yeah. the world we're in now. Definitely. It's no longer pizza day. It's W no. day. W day! Uh, Riley then, I guess at some point, decided to drive out to... Uh, Eric Zelaya's great-grandfather's tombstone and says, I pissed on the grave but didn't take a picture because I don't want it used against me in court, which I, I assume is just a joke. Wait. Okay. Joke, but whatever. And then posts like a Pokemon Go thing. And I mentioned that I, um... I Because Riley really wants to get involved in this because he's a fat mongoloid. I mentioned <laughs> that I got the little detail about whose headstone it was wrong, as if it fucking matters if it's his grandfather or great-grandfather. Yeah, so Dick decided to go through me talking about him, talking about the rip of her shit, and pick it apart line by line for uh, 13 minutes and expose me as the neurotic fraud that I am, who cannot get a single fact straight, who lies to my audience continuously, mm-hmm. telling them that Isom is his grandfather's name and not his great-grandfather's name. And so I have decided that the best way to respond to this is to, of course, play. This ISOM thing is fucking retarded. It really Isn't is, it man. Not? And it just keeps going. It just... It's like, shouldn't this have fizzled out at like week two? Yeah, this is. Like, the... why are people so fired up about it? Like, I, I just don't it's really a get it. Fucking mid comic. Who gives a shit? His reaction in full and go line by line over that. Uh, let's begin, chat. Y'all gonna make me. <laughs> <laughs> the law of failure, 40 year old is something. Y'all gonna make me. Juju the Cow and Pedophile. Y'all gonna make me. 
Wait. That definitely couldn't be piss, right? They're saying there's no way that could be a piss. Did he piss on it? Yeah, he did piss on it. What a piece of shit. You know, like... Riley, go die in a fire, you fag. You're, like, desecrating what? some guy's grave to please Dick Masterson. Like, it really is unhinged. You know what? Go we'll fucking swallow a bee, you fucking... <laughs> Let me show you how to scratch it. What's happening? I don't know. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes sped up. Two thousand six hundred eighty-seven percent to fit it under thirty seconds. Chat. That's what we're. That's what we're doing. I would talk um, to obviously, I in about thirteen minutes. He'd hate this show. <laughs> thirteen minutes. That, what? That's not even the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. This is all bullshit. Um. And Dick is uh, desperate for attention. I don't know why. He's like 40 years old. He's been in L.A. for like 20 fucking years making pitches at this point. He should not be vying for the attention of me in particular. Well, yeah. Uh, so much that he's going to dedicate like a third of his show to, <laughs> to combing over. A third of his show? Is his show 36 minutes long? I don't know. Minutes? I don't know. 39 minutes? Well, Waffens, Patty, I the literally am the biggest in the sector. Yeah. From the top on down. From the top on Ooh, down, Ralph there's nobody bigger than people. Ooh, Ralph either. said that. Holy fuck. To find weird tidbits that I get wrong, as if anyone could ever possibly give a fuck about whose tombstone it is. It's in his family. That's all that matters. Someone visited his family's tombstone, well, whose significance is too iconic. Like, if you're visiting anybody's grave to, like, desecrate it and own somebody. You're nuts. You've lost your mind. Yeah. You lost your because marbles. it's yeah. named after him to try and intimidate Eric Gly or aggravate him or something, and obviously that's not okay because that's fucking weird. Yeah, it's weird. Um, the only thing that I'll respond to is this: nobody on the forum did shit like this to uh, to people. Yeah. And okay, taking a picture. It, it's not funny. It's the, <laughs> it's the reason. It's not funny. You're that's right. It's not funny. The reaction is funny. I mean, who's a professional comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Not you. Vito, and Vito's a pedophile. I mean, like, what's happening here? <laughs> Who is currently... Okay, so his response to that, to me telling him it's not funny, is actually, it is funny, because I'm a professional comedian. <laughs> you know, I've been doing retarded for... <laughs> coming. Yeah, well, I got paid one time to do stand-up at the salty fucking so pirate I, bar. Like... I've, been, I've been paid at my comedian. Like, fuck off. 40 fucking years, I'm now a decrepit old man crypt keeper, and I've been doing this for 20, uh, for as long as you've been alive, therefore, I get to declare it funny. Vito, however, makes a, a blunder here. Obviously, I'm checkmated by that masterful comment by Dick Masterson, yep. also known as Juju the Cow. Uh, <laughs> Vito Gasaldi, Christopher Gasaldi, the pedophile, decides to blunder, fuck up his whole operation, and counter it with this. Who is currently <gasps> podcasting okay. to a thousand people who... them a That's thousand tough. and by the way folks it's not one thousand it's not a thousand there is life. not it's one thousand not... people watching this show they, they don't even get a thousand of the requests i mean like listen they they might have when they were on youtube yeah they you would get like between two and three thousand views on a video at like uh, on the replay yeah which by the way is nothing cog beats that he Cog really is the line, isn't it? Isn't he the line of like if you're succeeding or failing? <laughs> like Dick, Dick laughs extra act act acts extra hard to that because he realizes the mistake of his pedophile uh co-host at that moment. Because you see, apparently in v I thought the entire time that Vito was the one who's listening to Maddie for Dick Masterson's benefit. Apparently it's Dick that's doing it himself because Vito would know if he was actually clipping my shit that I, I stream more to more than a thousand people when I do my- Yeah, it's 2.5k watching yeah. at this time. My lives. 
um, which I, I try not to brag about, but in this instance, you should. Um, Dick, despite having apparently thirty thousand dollars in monthly income from Patreon, uh -huh. streams to an audience of like two hundred people. I know. Per Isn't it weird? Two hundred, yeah. It's, no, like it's two, all those two, truckers that are definitely paying the the Patreon fund or whatever bullshit. That, it's just, that, it's fucking inflated. Day. Ram but 56 it, just subscribed for three months. Thank you. That puts us nine subs away from the, from the feasing horde goal. Let's hit it. Let's get it, guys. What a fun episode, guys. Fun week so far. Vito was very proud of that. He thinks that's a very successful metric. Well, to be fair, it is for him. <laughs> to be fair, for Vito, that's like oh, fuck. 17. A, doesn't Vito have a quarter million subscribers? Yeah. It's just retarded. He streams to 25 people, though. Yeah. It doesn't really add up, does it? Mm. No, it does. For me, Subs don't matter at all on They've YouTube. never mattered. They've never mattered. They've never mattered. For me, to rub my dick across Vito's face, because if it's just a dick measuring contest in terms of numbers, I, I think I have you beat. Maybe I'm more of an authority on what's funny than Vito, according to his own metrics. Though I'm not a professional comedian. I've never raped a child in Hollywood, so I don't get very funny to decide that unregistered firearms at my house for five says did you see dax Ferreira, aka juju the count aka dick masterson crying on twitter about people on kf help competitions to dox ralph and keffels and that people in his thread want to kill him he also said he'd host underage revenge porn if someone didn't name names but probably uh oh troll cow what yeah. just happened what was that sentence I don't know. Oh, okay, let me repeat that. Hang on. Help competitions to Dax Round, aka registered firearms at my house for five. Says, did you see Dax Rara, aka Juju the Count, aka Dick Masterson, crying on Twitter about people on KF help competitions to Dax Ralph and Keffels, and that people in his thread want to kill him. He also said he'd host underage revenge porn if someone didn't name names, but probably uh, Troll Cow. Yeah, uh, he's taking lines directly from retards on Twitter because he's desperate to get a win at this point. Very fucking sad. He's a, he's he's like. Jin I guess you have to be there. <laughs> right, Ashton? Like, he's like yeah, a 40 year old that can't blend in with the young people yelling at each other on YouTube, but he still wants to be cool. So he's like trying to involve himself any way he can. And this is what it looks like. It's like him going on stream and saying like, Josh got the tombstone wrong. I mean, if and also Josh was hosting child porn on the site, like wouldn't he be in prison? Yeah. Bullshit. I don't know. Maybe he is, but I, I really doubt it. Uh, all right. What are we doing? Are we doing any of this shit? Nah, you know what? Let's do the the, the this funny is mad. ones. This was kind of funny. Okay, wait, you know what? Hang on. This, this is kind of funny. So, all right, let's get it. When, when, when he did his stand-up, okay? Right before, here's what happened. Why, this is after, this post stand-up. Watch this. Chrissy, unfortunately, was not able to make it. Uh, she had a family emergency. So, just Chrissy Mayer, professional comedian, host of The Wet Spot and Simpcast, is on Friday Night Tights, all that shit. And she's doing very well for herself. She was supposed to have her stand-up special. So imagine, you buy tickets, oh, Chrissy's going to be there. Da -da -da -da. Last minute, she's there, leaves for Nick to be the headliner. No. Oh. Can you imagine? Like, holy oh. shit. Okay, you got somebody who does this regularly versus somebody who's never done stand-up in their fucking lives. She bailed. I want everybody to know she has said that. Uh, she is fine and the baby is fine. So it's not that. It's just some other stuff. I'm sure at some point it'll all uh, come out. Or She won't. There will be no come out. There's nothing. No. Whatever. But for now, it's uh, not my story to tell. But I just want people to know that Chrissy is uh, physically. She's distancing. She's doing what Dick Masterson did to Ralph. Yeah. Distancing herself. Fine. The baby is physically fine. Everything there is is okay. Because I know people are very, very concerned about that stuff. Um, so that's uh, that's good. That's good. But unfortunately, uh, she wasn't able to be there. And I actually didn't get to see her on the entire trip, which made me a sad boy. <laughs> so she just fucking left him. She hung out with everyone else. Now, Ashton, we've talked about uh, him being an alcoholic, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, before that, before that. Uh, look at this clip. This here. one's fucked. This is retarded. Look at this clip. No, that's the guy that married. Whoa. Courtney Stodden is the guy 
who's in that oh, movie. Okay. Like people are all like, oh, Kevin Spacey, he like rapes children. I'm like, hey guys, the, the, the gay neighbor, right? Like, do you remember that he was fucking Courtney Stodden and got her parents permission to marry her at 15, turned her into a giant whore, like, and he's 53? Like, that's the thing that happened. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but like, just because yeah. they got married doesn't make that not fucking strange. Wait for it. Courtney Stodden was hot, though. She is. He, now, they're going to clarify that she was hot when she was 15. Yeah. And not when she was older. Let's get play. This isn't like later. She like she got like too much surgery done or something. But mm, to stay young. For a while. How disgusting. Just stay young. How greasy. Just stay he young. Just stay young. Stay 15. Ugh. For Diddley what? Jackson, look at him as he revels in his pedophilia. Like, it is uh, disgusting yeah. degeneracy. What a what fucking a sick grime fuck. ball. This is gross. Well, she was she's pretty good looking. What's a little <laughs> pedo amongst friends? <laughs> no. Wow. All right. So, uh, we're gonna hear a story. So we've talked about Nick Kidda being an alcoholic. Yeah. Because he is. He's clearly an alcoholic. It's horrible. He's killing himself. He drinks a bottle of fucking day, basically. Well, he, during the trip for the stand-up, right? Yeah. Hung out with these guys. I don't know who the fuck they are, okay? These guys are going to tell us what breakfast like, what breast breakfast was like with Nick Fricada. You ready? Okay, let's hear about it. All right. It's 19 seconds. Very short. Who the hell Ballsy are these says, guys? No one knows. Okay. Stonies? Okay. Balls Deep says Nick is top tier. Good guy to be friends with. Yeah, he was... Uh, he was great at the show. It was a good time. Yeah, we had, uh, we had breakfast with him yesterday. I felt like such a pussy. Like, he had a bourbon, and I was just so hungover. I, I... He had a bourbon <laughs> at breakfast. That's fucked, man. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> Like, I, I understand that some people have, like, a mimosa with breakfast, like the orange Your juice and champagne, or... something like that. But to drink straight bourbon for breakfast? That's fucking gross, man. I felt like such a pussy. Like, he had a bourbon, and I was just so hungover. I, I, so I cracked a beer. I took, like, three sips, and after he left, I'm like, I am not going to be able to finish this beer. Even these guys <laughs> were like, listen, I want to... Suffer liver? Uh, suffer liver. Uh, it's just morning this? and night. Oh, oh, let's, do, let's do a short one. Oh! Ashton, you're going to love this, okay? All right, let's go. So, on this show the other night, this is what I clipped here. Oh, Alyssa Clips. Uh, we both clipped it at the exact same time, actually. Watch this. You ready? Alyssa Clips, by the way... Amazing job. Amazing no, job. but Papa John integrity, like, get real. Okay, we drink, you no, drink, second. sure. We, we don't drink every day a bottle of whiskey and drink bourbon for breakfast. Uh, I'm taking a piss. I'm like, yeah. water Are you okay? Yeah, no, dude, the point is, it's like all the fucking time, dude. <laughs> I, all the I don't know, time. like, it's okay, I guess, to be an alcoholic. Yeah, I guess, right? Uh, damn. We have a longer okay. segment here. It was 19 seconds, man. What? Okay. He's upset because it wasn't crazy enough for his taste. Fucking shut up! I know. Shut the fuck up. I'll, I'll piss in a second here. Let's do a few more segments. Some clips are long, some are short. Like, calm down. Yes, yes, Pen 31 UK. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so, so Pen K, K 31 USA. What Nick, you're going to have to stop the drinking. No. Like, his own audience is like, please, please, Nick. Here's the response. Oh, yes, yes, Pen31 UK. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so, oh, God, you know, without, without your concern for my health, I just, I just would not know what to do. Uh, I've thought about it long and hard, and I'll take your advice. Uh, in just a second. I'm going to right now, I promise. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Uh oh. Here. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. So they tell him to stop drinking, so he instantly starts drinking? Yeah. That's so fucking degenerate. What minute of the show do you think this is in? 
I don't know. Minute uh, four. By minute the way, four. two minutes of intro. Is he going to lick the bottle? So, Ashton, you're going to laugh. Remember what I told you? So we've been making fun of him licking the bottle. He's obviously seen our clips because we've mentioned that he's done so, some references. Well, on his Twitch stream the day before this, he poured a glass and he stared at the bottle like this. And then put it down. So we've obviously infected him. Watch this, Ashton. I'm glad you told me to do this. Wait, watch this. Glad you told me to do this because it was necessary. Uh, watch, watch, oh, watch. Cheers. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit, I didn't lick the bottle. <laughs> so now he's trying to like... Fuck, everyone's talking about me licking the bottle. So, it's in his head. Yeah. It's in his fucking head. I'm becoming a worse, better, alcohol. Is that a better alcoholic or a worse one? God damn it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Alyssa Clips found this second uh, plot. Watch the this. The internet is a magical place. There we go. Where everybody knows everything all the time. And I love it. Also, Predator in the locals chat. So Predator in the locals chat is having an issue with it drinking too, okay? Uh, if you want to hang out for the locals live stream, we could talk about it. Work through your feelings if we need to, my friend. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're just concerned, bro. <laughs> it's every day. Every day is drinking day. Nor you can DM me. And uh, and issue all of your all of your issues directly to me there, but I'm not gonna be able to follow along with all of them as I'm doing the show. Like this I, guys, like, what a cry, what baby! Shit. All right, guys. So we're gonna go into a very cringe moment here. Oh wait, okay, let's do cringe moment first, okay? All right. So here is at the bar where those guys steel toed just saw us hanging out with Nick, right? Riley, as you can see here, uh, still right here on the left. Yeah. This is, he said a tank is way in, watch this. Oh! Ooh, pretty loud. Oh, the French! Hey, here you don't want to be involved in the air. I don't want to be involved! Here you don't want to be I don't want to be involved! You better run if you want to be involved, Gary! Oh, 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 it's a hundred dollars! I don't want to be involved! You have, way, you have way too much money for this hundred dollars. I do not. Has anybody here got an indie comic book? Yes, me. You? What indie comic book? Death, Prove it! Comic book? No, but Joe Ball does not editing it. Death, death, death. Death? Have you never? This been guy's so a dysgenic freak, mongoloid, <laughs> retard, fucking abomination. This is like fucking Gator at home. <laughs> like fucking Gator on Wish.com. Let's get. It looks just like Gator, kind of. If Gator had fucking Down syndrome. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Death, death. That sounds just right. like that. 18 bucks, 300 pages. Wait, did you just take something to him? I can ventilate you. $18 never for 300 pages, Black Mike. You're never going to get a better deal. Back it today. Link in the tweet. Y'all like that comedy? I, I don't know if it, it gets any worse than being called the Wish.com Gator. <laughs> That's pretty fucking grim. Wait, we watch that one? Okay, so do you remember... We watched the last time. What was that dude's name? Do you remember the last guy, the big guy with a beard who was making fun of Nick? Oh, uh, criminal, criminally, potentially criminal, potentially something, criminal. Something. Uh, anyway, like he, that. he was great. He was really funny, making fun of Nick. Well, do you remember someone called Legal Mindset? You remember no. Him? So during the uh, the Kyle Rittenhouse case, uh, he had a bunch of those, like lawyers. He basically blew everyone up, right? Now, all these lawyers, one by one, are grabbing the knife and betraying Nick for his, you know, his downfall. You ready for this? Yeah. You'll remember him when you see him. This guy. You remember him? He was on all of Nick's oh, fucking streams. Okay. All of Nick's streams. There we go. Summary of Nick Ricada's screw-ups. Number oh, one. No. 
literally oh like, no not, not he's just outright snaking yeah, it not it's even not like, even just like a funny joke he's just like he screwed up and here's a list of it in two <laughs> minutes i'm just gonna lay a fountaining on this fucking guy oh no this again uh, the queen there there you go thinking he could be objective on this Nick could never be objective on this. That's number one. Nick was never able to be objective. He should have shut his whore mouth from day one. <laughs> should just Nick should have shut up. He had no business commenting on this in the first place. It was not the right topic for him. It's awkward for all of us, but it's more awkward for Nick. More awkward for Nick. So he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have commented. So what he's saying is, Nick, you're humiliating all of us. Yeah. Shut the fuck. Fuck up. You fucking retard. All these lawyers are on a Skype call because they don't use Discord. They're on a Skype call going, we got to fucking bury him. He's done. Yeah. Nick, remember, was the the, 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 the top of he YouTube He was the leader. king of LawTube. Law now he's yeah. just a fucking peasant. Yeah. Can't even make $69 dollars on a fucking show. Like, buddy, yeah, listen. Done the first one. Second, Nick knows better as a lawyer. Nick knows better as a lawyer as to what you can and cannot say. And by letting someone on the stream, you know they're going to say some stuff. Number three, he's a beta with letting somebody on just because they're complaining in the chat. <laughs> oh, holy. <laughs> the legal points. Let's give a round of applause. Let's go, felt it, etc. Take ownership of that. You made the choice. Don't try to defer it to he begged you in the chat. Yes, it's a fact, but it's not an excuse. Own it. Say that you made that choice. You screwed up by doing that. And if he apologizes for that, good. But, you know, he should. Number four, and I don't think he's doing this, but anybody says, oh, it's just because you're drinking or whatever. That's not an excuse. That's, your, that's, a, that's a trait. That's a, that's, a, that's a quality. And people love that. People love that part of his... his Quarter million dollar man has gifted ten subs. Well, we've hit the feasing horn goal there. Here we go. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, we have to add some ambiance. Ready? Come on, Ashley. You can, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, fuck. Hold on. You have it. You have it. No, it's not. Fuck. I got to get it right. You had it. You had it. Fuck. It's hard, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it again. Hold on. I did. I was trying it earlier. I got it to work, but it's tough. Fuck! We gotta call Jaden. We gotta call in Gay. I know he sent tutorial videos. I know what I'm supposed to do. It's just executing it is difficult. All right, let me try it again. All right. Oh, fuck. They love the drinking, they love the shots. And I like drinking, I mean, it's great, it's but... Right. Don't ever try to use that essence. Nice job, Ashley. The other thing, too, was, you know, and the last one I'll bring up, this is kind of number five, is obviously Nick did have a stream that he did and he privated. Try not to do that. Like, I try not I'll to do that. It. Now, if there's a if the copyright issue or some other issue there, sure. But I don't try to private streams that are because it's something that... I said I don't want to say. I try to not say it in the first place. And that's why I try not to claim <laughs> stuff or whatever else. Or if I say something wrong, I just own it and I keep it up. Usually I'll private something if, for example, I 
like for the other the other day uploaded a video where the audio was bad so i private it the the version with the bad audio and made the one with the good audio public that that's logical but don't try to walk it back i like that comment in the chat nick is not really a drama farmer the drama comes to him well it's like chicken egg right like which which is it right felton all right guys we'll be right back we're just gonna take a piss brb uh so yeah guys we've been having a great past few weeks what's all your thoughts on Rakeda, the downfall it's very interesting actually um you know it's funny to it's nice to see someone else that's downfall besides me <laughs> you're not oh, <laughs> it's it's nice to you know 